playing today's daily devotion. Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 27. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels and will then repay every man according to his deeds. As God's adopted children, those of us who are believers have been given the purpose of glorifying him through righteous living. In yesterday's devotion, we saw that this means making certain modifications in our life. Let's consider two more changes that may be necessary for followers of Jesus. One adjustment has to do with our belief system. A Christian's thinking ought to match Jesus's. For example, students of scripture will learn the following. The Lord is the one who deserves our praise. The last shall be first. And Christians are to be generous people. Our actions need to match what the Bible teaches. Secondly, we may also have to redefine our commitments. God is to be our highest priority, and his desires for us should take precedence over personal preferences and what others ask us to do. We must evaluate our choices in light of his plan for us. This may mean letting go of a favorite activity, taking on a new responsibility, or staying where we are despite longing to leave. Our Heavenly Father wants and deserves His children's full devotion. Although we are thoroughly transformed from darkness to light at salvation, changes in our thinking and conduct do not all happen instantly. They take place over a lifetime. And we should be encouraged because such adjustments are possible through the power of the Holy Spirit, and they're accompanied by the confidence of knowing that God will use us to fulfill His plan. Alexa, read me today's Bible verse. Here is a Bible verse from the King James Bible. Genesis 2-3 reads, And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. 